Sidelines. Look at him, Peter. He's not okay. The doctors need to get him on the sidelines. He took a hit to the head just two plays ago, and he's obviously concussed. Either that or he thinks he's auditioning for fucking Circus Soleil. Either that or the molly hasn't worn off from last night. He thinks his name is Jeff. He's drooling, and he's doing cartwheels on the field. The NCAA should be embarrassed. This man should not be in the game. And Rivers not happy with the call. He's letting the refs hear it. And look at this. Here comes his own flesh and blood. His son is telling the referees to tee him up. It is worse than the time that Judas betrayed Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving around the corner. And boy, oh boy, it's going to be one fucking awkward Thanksgiving dinner as he is teed up. Not everybody's cut out for this game, Peter. Not everybody is cut out for this game. There is winners and there is losers. Meet Chase McLaughlin, rookie kicker. He has the world in front of him on the biggest stage in football. Monday night football. The Niners to continue their streak and remain undefeated. It doesn't happen. As a matter of fact, he almost killed somebody in a fucking tunnel. He had a panic attack. Look, we've all had it before. They're the worst. Your hands get tingly. You start sweating. You can barely swallow. But boy, oh boy, this snap and this hold couldn't have gotten any better. And there's no fucking excuses as he just yanks it, literally, and almost fucking murders somebody. It's plain and simple, you want to feel bad for the guy. But at the Bob Mentory TV Network, we, we just can't. Because it means one thing and one thing only. When you fail on the biggest stage, you're the shitbag titty fuck of the week. Looked like it was his knee. Wait a minute, what is that? Go back to that. Was that fucking Frankenstein? My goodness, there is a man passed out in the front row, and he could be dead. Now he's moving a little bit. He's okay. He's just fucked up beyond belief. Ready? Right there. There's Frankenstein, Peter. Obviously, some guys can't hang. You got floor seats to the Lakers, and what do you do? You get so fucked up, you end up passing out in the front row. Too many Ripper Magoos. And the quarterback rolls outside, fires across the middle, complete. Oh, no, he's doing it again. A Miles Garrett. That's what we call it when you rip off the other team's heads and pop them with it. Wow. And that is going to be a touchdown, 16-7. to Colts, what are they doing here? Oh, my God. They are bringing him back. They used to call him the Terminator in college. He used to love to take Molly, pound beers, and slay bitches. Touchdown! Wow! And the ball rattling around. Rebound by the offense. Whoa, baby! He just got whacked with the sun. Don't shine. Meanwhile, white boy for three. This doesn't stand a chance. No good. What did I tell you, Peter? This is fast-paced basketball. Now he's 0 for 2. First, he got popped in the cock. And he was hoping to have kids soon. That's not happening. They might be a little off. And then he tries to be a hero, takes the charge, and I believe he got hit in the dick again. Look, at you can feel the pain. It's making its way up the stomach. And now he tries to be a hero, tries to take the charge, and gets fucking lit up and hit in the dick again. Bad day. Max, are you ready? He is ready, fans. Let's cheer him on. On your mark, get set, go. All right, here he goes. The little fella off to a good start. Jesus Christmas. Makes the layup as well. Pretty good for such a little guy. And what is going on here? He makes a free throw. Makes the layup. He's doing pretty good here. Back to the three-point line. Come on. No fucking way. Who is this kid? Another layup. And that is six, I think, in a row. Another layup. Am I fucking seeing things, Peter? Here's the free throw. Jesus Christ! Wow, and so he's going for the fadeaway, and nope, not going to happen. He misses it. So he's not going to win anything. And obviously not everybody gets a trophy nowadays, folks, but at least he gave it his best. Back to you. And deep down the field, he's looking at OBJ. He's open. Touchdown! Wow, so the Browns extend the lead. 14 to nothing over the Dolphins. And let's see how they are reacting in Cleveland. We can see how excited they are on the field right now, but it's a whole different scene on the streets as they still can't get off this Mason Rudolph thing. And there is a fucked up, hammered witch 
who is trying to swing around a helmet, trying to bash in Mason Rudolph's head, just like Miles Garrett did. The only difference is she's absolutely hammered. She might be on crystal meth, and I don't want any part of this. The Cleveland faithful. Peter, back to the studio. And David Blow fires it down the field. He's got Galloway, who's going to be gone. Happy Thanksgiving, Detroit answers. What a throw by David Blow. You can call me Dr. Seuss, Peter. I, I made that shit rhyme. Anyways, I'm more amazed that his last name is Blow. You can tell uh, the red phone is ringing again, Peter. Pick it up. It's Buffalo Wild Wings. They think this is a reference to drug use again. It's not. Oh, my. Now they're making us go to a commercial, Peter. I'm getting sick of this. Why did I sell out to corporate America? I hate it. Galloway, anyways. It was not blown coverage. He just fucking burnt him. Left him in the dust. Bye-bye, birdie. And we're actually getting word it's David Blau. Blow, same thing. Prescott takes the snap. Pressure up the middle. Oh, no! He's rocked. And the fat boy, who, speaking of Thanksgiving, has never missed a meal in his life. And he's going to prance in the end zone even though he's down. Look at the replay. Coming in like fucking kamikaze fighter pilots. Prescott rocked. Fat boy picks it off. And he's down, but he says, fuck it. This is my one time to shine. It's Thanksgiving. Whatever.